Good morning, good morning, y'all. What's going on? It's Barry coming at you from the Oklahoma Cannabis Association. And in this one, y'all, it's going to be a short video. I'm sorry to say it, but we're going to be short, sweet, and to the point. I've been a blunt person my whole life, all right? I've been told it'll help you, it'll hurt you, whatever. I don't sugarcoat nothing, and I'm here to tell y'all something that's pissing me off. Y'all are a bunch of fake-ass people. You say you're here to help patients, right? Oh, I got into the industry to help people and help heal my state. Yeah, I've got to become a doctor. I've already I became a doctor and took the Hippocratic oath, so I wouldn't hurt nobody or do it my best power to help everybody that I can or heal them. Well, guess what? You're lying. And what am I talking about? One hundred and twenty-five dollars for a damn doctor's visit to get your card. Now everybody's like, the price is worth it. Yeah, but what about them people that've been messaging me like, bro? Any way you can help me, like pay half my visit, half my doctor's fee, da 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 da, because I can't this and that. What the hell? And the veterans paying $80. If you served in any active duty war, your recommendation should be for free. You really going to tell me? You're a doctor. You've been making bank for a while. And I know that's because you had to pay back student loans. And I'm not saying anything that if you should not use your skills to get what you deserve. But when it comes at the cost of patients, people, you took an oath to help. $125 a person's bullshit. $75 is the max you should charge. It cost you what? Technically, $25 every time a patient uh, gets a, you write a recommendation for a patient. I might be wrong, so please do correct me. And not only that, $80 for a veteran, you can't tell me you can't just take like a, hey, he's a veteran, man. He served in the war. Which war? It don't matter. If he ever was an active duty veteran, he should not pay nothing. Ever. He shouldn't have to pay for his goddamn McDonald's. The food is so nasty, he shouldn't even have to pay for that, y'all. I like McDonald's, though. I know it's going to kill me one day, and I'm pretty sure they put cocaine in their french fries, but I ain't mad at them because them french fries are addicting. Seriously, though, on a real note, these are some fake-ass patient drives doing $125 a patient, man. That's bullshit. You're profiting way more than you should off of patients. $75 leaves you $25 off the person, $50 for the doctor. That means the doctor could get 50 you could get 25 There we go. I'm sorry. You ain't got to be a millionaire in the first year we become a, a, a billion-dollar industry. I'm sorry. Greed will take over. You see that the state is already trying to be greedy and only get it to where their rich-ass friends, because of what Mary Fallon did, is trying to make it to where the rich people can grow weed and get commercial growers' licenses and processes. They're already trying to squash the little man like has already happened in so many other industries here in Oklahoma. Let's not let that shit go down with us. Friday, they're having a meeting at the Capitol or a gathering or whatever. I've seen it on air. I'm going to try to get my fat butt up there if I even have to hitchhike. We're going to try to be there. Okay? I'm going to get off here soon because I'm getting pissed off, and that's not what I was trying to do. I just hate that people are trying to take off, take advantage of people and then claim it. Oh, $125 here, $125 there. Oh, oh, oh. That's the norm. It's a patient drive, like a blood drive. People donate that shit for free. I'm not asking you to do it for free, but I'm asking you, what the hell is $125? The people that really need this medicine buy that and then can't do nothing else. They got a card that they can get when it gets there, but then they can't do nothing for the week. Two weeks. Even after they get their card because they're so damn broke. I'm just saying there's a lot of people that need help in our state that's not getting it because of these fake-ass patient drives. Don't call it a patient drive unless you're doing it for under 100 bucks from now on. Why not? Because it's not a drive. You're just gaining money. It's a drive to drive that money, that green uh, cash, into your wallet and that doctor's. Y'all make enough. It's time to be a little bit of a philanthropist around here. And either knock the price down a little bit or do some free drives. That's what a patient drive should be, free. Just my opinion. Please comment. Don't be scared. Subscribe and let me know what you think. I'm down to argue with you or you can debate it or tell me your opinion. If you're a doctor and you watch this, slap your mother self if you ever charge somebody $125 because you're greedy. And I hope you think about what I said. Love, peace, and chicken grease. We're out of here.